Hi guys, we're back to finish this um, jewelry jar, which is number 80. Am I right? Uh, 180. 180, I'm sorry. Jewelry jar, 180. Okay, on Little Sky, we have this one. And on Big Sky, we have that. And we have our little pals there, and our new pal down here. And some more over there. Okay. <laughs> This one looks like it could be sterling. Yes, it's marked 925. Oh, golly. There we go. Yeah, 925. And let's see if the clasp. Yes, it's also Mark 925 over here in that area. And it's got a little starfish. And here's the back. I'm not sure if that's Mark 925 or not. Let me loop it. I'm going to loop the bell. Okay, it's written on the bell. Right here. 925. So this is a sterling necklace. The length on it is... Eighteen inches. And we'll do this for eighteen. Okay, the next one we have is a statement necklace. It is an Erica Lyons, and it's got the little bead here on the finish of that. The necklace is a copperish silver, a gold tone look. You can see copper and gold tone. This. It just needs to be cleaned off. It came right off. But this is in good shape. I like the black and white with the gold. Again, your um, chains are worn or either need to be clean. I think more worn. I'll do it up close so you can see it. That's what they look like. And we'll do this one for $5. Very pretty. Oh, I didn't give them a link. Okay, it's not extended. So it not being extended, it is 22 inches. And then you have a 2.5 inch extender on it. Have a little minimalist necklace here with some gold beads and a black chain and then this with the beads long necklace here's our little lobster claw clasp black rollo chain nice matte black with these gold Fasted beads here in metal. I don't see any markings on this. It's in excellent condition. It's a good layering piece, too. It is 16 inches. We'll do that for three. The next one is silver tone lobster claw clasp these are wooden beads nicely finished they have a um, pretty glow look to them 
how that one's got. I don't know if that's something on it. Yeah. Yeah, that needs to come off. Then you have these little fasted rhinestone beads. Again, the bottom bead is another fasted rhinestone bead. They're all there. This necklace is thirty-seven inches. We'll do it for three dollars. The next one we have a little pearl necklace and a long necklace with a tassel. This is on a um, illusion cord here. You see it almost blends in with my finger there. Lobster claw clasp. Pretty gray colored pearls. I don't know if they're real or not, but you can see how the uh, string kind of blends in with the skin color, making it look like an illusion of beads, pearls floating around your neck. We'll do this one for three. Oh, and let me give you a length. It is 17 inches. Next has a beautiful brown tassel. It needs to be uh, straightened out some. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Looks like somebody's tried to unravel it. So it's got a messy look to it. They've tried to th uh, thicken the things. Anyway, you've got these beautiful blue glass beads and metal beads and more blue glass beads. They are cold. Lobster claw clasp extender with the bead. We are going to measure this necklace fully extended. Oh, that's okay. I can't it. It's 36 inches. We'll do this one for three. Beautiful beads on that. Okay. All righty. Here's our next two necklaces. This one has Believe on it. The little dragonfly, love that. And then we have this black necklace here. Very pretty. Here's your little Believe pendant. That is so cute, I love these. It is signed by Elise Sheen, Sheenan. With, I don't know what that says. Wishnest, wishness. I guess is. She's named it. Wishnest. Alicia Han. That's very cute. Nice beaded kidney bean closure, beaded chain. It is 18 inches. We'll do this one for $3, very cute. The next one was a black chain. Have a lobster claw clasp. Here's your black 
and this is black chain. It's not gunmetal, it's black. Black little rhinestones. Not little, they're a good size rhinestones. And then multiple chains down here in black. Very pretty necklace. It is thirty inches at the shortest point. Right here on the top. Right. It's a thirty inch necklace. And we will do this one for four dollars. Very pretty. Our next two necklaces, there's an elephant and another elephant necklace. Very pretty. Both these necklaces are very pretty. Here's your elephant. That is very ornate. He's got a little copper showing on the forehead. Here's the back. Nice Rolo chain. Lobster claw clasp with an extender. I'm going to measure it. It is 18 inches. Fully extended. And we'll do this one for three. And I'll show this while he answers the phone. Or we just let it ring. We didn't recognize the number. I've been getting robocalls all day. Look at that. That's very pretty. No rhinestones missing. I'm not sure what this is made of. So let's see if we can get some close in look here. I don't know if this is bone or not. It looks like it could be bone. Very pretty. Very large elephant. Where's my little ruler? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. You're so awesome. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, you're still <laughs> awesome. This is about two and a half inches across. Wait a minute, now I see something here. I guess that's just the way it's carved. I'm not sure if that's broke there or not. Or if that's the way it's carved. You know, maybe it should have come out to a point. I don't know. What do you think? Feel it. <laughs> I just noticed it. Yeah, it looks like there, it could have, should have come. So the, little, the, the trunk might have come up and then, you know, yeah, done a turn. But see, I didn't notice that until just now. Darn it. That's so pretty. You've got a beautiful um, copper colored necklace, an extender with a bead. Let's see if that's magnetic. It is. We're going to add this to the $18 Hobby Lot. This is a hot lot. It's already been claimed. Oh, congratulations. Where you got it? Yep, they got, they get some great pieces. So there it is. It's in there. Okay, so now what? Wah. Okay, here we go. Here's our next two necklaces. It's a stone, I think sterling, and this statement necklace, teardrops. Yes, it says 925, but that's all it says. I don't see anything on the clasp. I'm not sure about the necklace. I'll have to test it. But this definitely is stone. It's green in color. I don't know if it's jade or something else. Let me test it. Mm, 
Like that. I gotta get it steady on there. Okay, it's either chrysophrase or nephrite. It's in that area. Could be jade. And I don't see any marks on it, so I'm going to test it. Looks silver. Let's test the chain. It's a nice chain. It's a diamond cut rope design. No, I see copper coming through, but not on the pendant. Oh yeah, I see red. I see red right away. Oh honey, I'm out of uh, Q-tips. Oh no. Oh no, I can't pick it up. <clears throat> back. I gotta go get some Q-tips. Okay. Yes. It is silver. Come on. You can see the red. Oh, and I'm gonna need a new paper towel, too, when you're done with that. Sheesh. Yes, I'm real prepared over here, honey. We are needy today, aren't we? We are. I'm going to test this bail. There you go, sweetie. Not a problem. I'm glad I'm not a problem. Looks very silver, and it should be because it's really a part of the framework. It's not separate from it, I don't think. Oh, you're fine, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Just so you can see the red, too. See, it's turning red. Oops, wrong end. And you can see it's clearly... Got the little blood stain, which means it is silver. Yippee. But the necklace is not, though it looks it, and it's marked 925. I could not get it to test, but it's a beautiful necklace. And we will do this one for 18. going to do the statement necklace. Here's your extender with a little heart. And this is your clasp. And I'm going to fully extend it so when I measure it, I'll have a good measurement. Fully extended. These have AB wash on them. Little crystals. Very cute. These are fasted. A very, very pale pink color. And it's triple layered. So it gives you a nice full look. This necklace is 20 inches fully extended. I love the pink and the crystals. And you can see it's sort of like a bib, the way it's weaved in the back with the chains and attached. Gives it that nice full look. We'll do this one for five. It's beautiful. These are glass. 
they feel cold. I haven't tested them. They feel cold. And they have an AB wash on them. Five dollars. Okay, these are our next two necklaces. We have this little cluster of pearl and bead. And then this beautiful seed bead necklace. This one is, looks like it's going to be silver. Just looks silver to me. Yes, it is marked. It's marked right here, and as soon as I can get it to clear up again, maybe we'll zoom. There, now you can see the 925. It's a Rolo chain. And then these are your beads. And let me zoom back out some. You ha actually have pearl on here and glass bead, dyed pearl, and these look like uh, amethyst there. I'm gonna test those. And these are very pretty too. I don't know if they're aqua or just quartz. So let me test those ones that look like amethyst. They're definitely amethyst. They're going past amethyst. They're in the jadeite spinel area. That's why I said they were definitely at least amethyst. Test this one. See what it does. My machine is calibrated properly. Anyway, these, this is a very beautiful cluster of pearl and stone. And then on a silver chain, we're doing, and this one, the length on this one is 16 inches. We're going to do it for 18. Very pretty. Left me. Next one is lobster claw class. These are brass looking finishes on this. They're your end caps. It is glass beads, and you have seed and bugle bead. This is very beautiful. The colors are turquoise and a coral color, and a blue so you have turquoise and then more of a blue here and then the coral color 18 it's 925 and it's stone and pearls okay, thank you you're welcome this is a beautiful necklace multi-stranded it is in length 26 inches and two, Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four strands. We'll do this one for ten. Very pretty, beautiful color, southwestern color, pretty sunset colors. Okay. Boy, this is cute, and he's got his nose up the whole nose. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that little tiny elephant. And then we have this beautiful glass beaded necklace, I believe. You'll see as soon as I can touch it. This one has a spring ring clasp, extender with the bead. Pretty chain. And then here's your tiny little elephant. He almost looks like he could be stainless steel. Mm, that's what I thought. That's what you thought, too. Well, I did. Well, we've been thinking alike, honey. Imagine that after being together mm -hmm. so long. Gosh, we've been together half a century. 
Not married a half a century yet. We're getting there. This year we're coming up on what? I mean, next year. Next year will be 49. 49 years next year. Very cute. Let me measure this. It is 18 inches. And did I test it? Okay, it is magnetic. We'll do it for $4. Very cute. Here's our next one. Let's see if I was right. We have a toggle clasp. I'm looking to see if there's any writing on that. It looks like there might be, but. Or if it's just. I don't know can't read it if it is. We have glass beads here, up here, up top, and metal fluted beads, more metal beads, more glass beads, yes, pretty glass, blue glass, more glass. I'm not sure what this is made of. It's very interesting, the texture on it. And then more metal. These are pretty with the little rhinestones on it. More glass, this needs cleaning. These, this one is acrylic, made to look like a stone. That's acrylic. I believe those are acrylic. More glass, so you have a mixture here. Very beautiful blue necklace. It is length it is 20 inches this is your focal stone here at the end we'll do this one for six dollars it's very pretty glass and acrylic and metal beads here's our next one a little heart on a chain and then this pretty peachy colored rosy colored and cream colored pearl with little circle disc almost like confetti this one has a lobster claw clasp it's got uh, wear on it or either needs polishing Here's your chain, and then here's your your um, little open heart with designs of flowers. Here's the back. That's not magnetic. And a little. Okay, it's definitely got a copper base. You can see a little pinkish there. It's not white silver. So that's why it would not be magnetic. And I believe it's going to be the same with this. Yes, it's the same with that. It's copper based. So when all the silver is gone, gone, these will be copper. We'll do this one with uh, $3. Let me give you a link. I forgot to give you a link. It is 18 inches. I keep seeing things move. I don't know if it's my eyes or what. Going to the eye doctor soon. all you seem to do when you retire. Here's your extender with a pearl. And then here's your pearls and the little confetti-like pieces. Very cute. Be a nice little layering piece. And 
We will do this one for $3. It's nice and long. It is 38 inches. It's got areas of just chain, like here. And here's a space where it's just chain. So I don't know if we're missing something or not. But we're still going to do it for three dollars, isn't that what I said? Mm -hmm. Okay, three dollars. Okay, the next we have a druzy on a gold chain and a rosary. Here's the druzy. Very pretty. There's the back, the actual rock. Love that. Beautiful golden chain. I'm looking to see if I see anything, and I don't. There, that was just almost like those, one of those Korea chains that always keeps a beautiful color, but it's not gold. Yeah, it's slightly magnetic. I love that. We'll do this one for six. Very pretty. And then here's a rosary with a crucifix at the bottom. Mary at the top. Right here. Red beads. I can't tell if they're wood. I think they're wood. They're very lightweight. We'll do this for three. Next necklace we have is a beautiful, beautiful pearl and natural shell nuggets and faux pearl and crystal beads. Lobster claw with a extender with a bead. Fully extended. This necklace is 24 inches. We will do that for four. Very pretty. Oh, that's cute. Show that one on Big Sky. Very nice design. It's got an antique gold color, lobster claw clasp extender with the bead, twisted, like twisted rope chain or twisted chain. Very pretty. And then you have these glass beads in pink. And then these rays coming down from that. It's very pretty. It's not magnetic. I believe it's gold over copper. That's why it's not magnetic. This is well made. And I'm not going to test it. I don't see any marks of 14 carat. Or 10 carat. So I'm assuming it's gold over copper. And this necklace is fully extended. It is 26 inches. We'll do that for five. Oh, what fun. Okay, we have this first necklace here with that little doll. That's going to go in the kids' lot. And then we have this ribbon and pearl necklace. Kids lot has gotten out of hand and I have to do something with it next. You hear me? Yeah. I heard you. Next, that's coming up next. Okay. This one's marked American Eagle. Your ribbon's in good shape. 
clean. It's tied. Here are your pearls. They have a nice weight. I believe they're glass. We'll do this for four. Next is Lobster Claw Class, Pretty Red Beads, Love Jesus, that's going to be a freebie to anybody who wants it, it is 16 inches in length, just give me the time stamp and say freebie. The next is part of a sun. I almost got, has that sun moon look. Yeah, something else connects to it. And this is your, it's a little Claire's. We'll put that in the Dollar Hobby lot if anybody wants it. Just let me know. Send it to me, honey. You don't have to put it on the thing. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Here's half of a friend heart. So we're going to put that in the kids' lot. And this too. Okay. Kids' lot. And this three. I love this. And it probably takes batteries, but we don't know if you can get to them. But you ask it a question, and then it. it Blinks, it's supposed to blink and land on the answer. But I thought that was so cute, but I don't think it works. But I'm going to put it in the kids' lot. It wouldn't need no batteries. And then this is another one. It says best. Half of a butterfly. It's a dollar if you want it. It's going to go in the hobby lot. And we are now, are we? Now I have something to show. Because he can't see. I have this little necklace here. I think that's Simply Vera. Maybe. I'm not sure. It's got a knot there. Here's the end of it. All right, I've turned it back on here. We've got some wear on this. I'm going to put this in the uh, $18 Hobby Lot. It's going to take up so much room here. have this necklace, another druzy, very pretty, there's your rock, the rough side on this chain, if you bought the other one you could intermingle chains if you want, and this chain is, because I think the chains are different lengths, this one is almost 24 inches. Again, here's your druzy look. And we'll do this one for six also. Here you go, honey. Okay. The next, we have these beautiful pink pearls that don't have ends on them. We're gonna put that in the $18 Hobby Lot. We have this vintage white necklace. And it just hooks here. 
and it needs cleaning. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean that. Oh no, it's broken. Okay. Um, I'm not putting that in the 18 year Hobby Lot. We're gonna put this in the lot, the dollar lot, if you want it. It's vintage beads, but it's gonna come dirty unless I can get around to cleaning that. That may be some of this is, is I think glue. And then some may be, I don't know. But it's in the Dollar Hobby lot if you want it. Here's some pearls. Little white pearls. Those will be a dollar in the, oh, yeah, it needs a new class. A dollar in the hob Dollar Hobby lot. We have these pearls that are vintage pearls. Very long strand. We're going to put these in the $18 Hobby lot. And they're all are knotted in between, but they need new clasps. It's got the things for the clasps right here. And um, that's what it needs. A hook. Okay. And we're still only halfway full. Okay, now. One more. I have one more, honey. Okay. I can get to it. This. The next one is this one. Look at that little stone. Beautiful. It's got a mystic uh, topaz look to it. But you see a lot of green and purple. Love that. It's on a snake chain. I don't see any marks. And none, no marks on that. Yes, it is magnetic. And so is that, but it sure is pretty. This one is. Sixteen inches in length. We're gonna do it for five. Very pretty. Okay, uh, we're gonna do what next? You want. We're gonna do some fun stuff. Here's a ring. A little stretchy. Looks in very good condition. All the stones are there. We'll do that one for four dollars. We have another ring here. It's got little rhinestone. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's a stretchy ring. I don't have to mm -hmm. measure it. Duh. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Got it stones. It is a size, I'd say four and a half. We'll do that one for four dollars. It's in good shape. I'm looking to see if I see any silver on that. Didn't even test it. No, I didn't. Let's see. No, it's copper based, but the silver is still good. The next one we have is a size seven and it is diamond cut sterling silver ring. Looks beautiful on my hand. I think it should stay there. No, it's not going to stay there. Okay. And. We're gonna do it for 15. It's very pretty. Let me show you the markings. It's 
925 and it is silver I have tested it and it is a size 7 and it does have the diamond cutting I love that look when the light hits it it makes it sparkle better when it's diamond cut okay any more rings you want to shove my way oh here's some stuff we have some disc here these oh yes they've got some little beads here that are pretty yucked out from the yucky let me get that out there Ugh. the stretcher had gone bad on that I think uh, Jewelry Pirate had a video on doing your uh, restringing your stretchy bracelets and necklaces so we're going to put these in a little baggie and that will be a dollar for anybody who wants them make sure these four little beads get in there honey what's this oh this is silver honey I think it's silver and gold let me loop it first. It's broken chains. 